Hello, so in this section we're going to talk about factorial runtime. So let's start by defining what is a factorial. So a factorial is represented by the exclamation mark. And what it means is that you have to multiply all the numbers backwards onto one. So if you have a factorial of five, it means that you have to go five, by four, three, by two, by one. Right? Okay. The saying if you have a total of three, equal three, by two, by one, right? How we do it in code and why is that important? There are some problems that can be solved in factorial runtime. One of them is finding all the different permutations a work can have. Let's say you have the word art. So you can arrange it in multiple ways. But you can say rat, you can say tar, you can say and so on. So our task right now will be to write a program to find all the different permutations of the word. So to do that, let's, let's do a function. For sure, let's call it p. Function, then p is the permutation. And what we're going to have is a string. Then we will need the p, which is the prefix. We're going to initialize it as an empty. So the way we're going to do it, we're going to do a cursive function. Um, so what do we have? So we have a base case. So if you have one letter, just A, permutation of A will be, will be A. So we know how to do that. So let's start by that. So all, all, all the functions that you want to solve using recursion, you always have to have a base case otherwise it will run forever so if the string length equal to one then we have just return so we're we're going to return we're going to return an array so you can say yes or we are going to need the prefix later. So we are going to return the prefix plus the string. Okay, that's it. That's the best case. So now let's go through the iteration. So I'm going to do return. And then we are going to convert the string into an array. So we are going to use array form. I will take each of the elements of the string, make it an array. I'm going to use the function reduce again. To reduce takes a callback. We have three parameters. One will be the result or the cumulative. Then will be the current element. And the other one will be the index. Usually we say index i. Okay, and the base case for the reduction will be an empty an empty array. So what does that mean? That means like the R will start with empty array. So what do we want to do? Um, so we know for the base case we have we have the base case is just returning the same thing. Okay. But if we have, say, A, B, what do we need to say? We can say, we can decompose it, and we can say that it's equal to the concatenation of A, the prefix B, and the mutation of B using the prefix A. So we know when there is only one, we're going to say prefix plus in. So this is going to be AB. And this is going to be, I mean, this is going to be BA 
and this is gonna be a b right so we're going to decompose it in that way so what about if we have e a b c so how we're going to decompose that so what we're going to do is to take the go through each one of the letters and then uh, use the reminder as the next string. So, so let's first do the, the function. So the function will be so we have reminder will be one. So we can the stream lies it from zero from the first element to the current index in case is the first element the first slide will be zero and then we can concatenate it the same uh, as lie but this time will be i plus one until the end so that way we are going to take everything but the current element so for example if we are in the current element a b c so the reminder will be b and c but if we are taking if b is the current element we are taking only a and c okay that's a reminder and now the result will be what will be whatever was in the result initially will be nothing but will be more things and then we have what we have now this is where the recursion comes so we have the permutation of the reminder Then we will have the prefix the same. Oh, we're using MP prefix. Call it pre. So the prefix loss string current element, which is C. That's the concatenation. Now we return. And that way we are going to aggregate each time we're going to aggregate um, each one of the elements so let's do a test run to see how this works So let's say that we want to to do permutation of art the permutation of art so the permutation of art will be below we don't have too much space. Okay. So the permutation of R will be so the string length is one. No, it's not. So we have to go here. So we decompose each one in array, and then we take the the r will be the empty array for now the, the current element which will be will be a that's the current element and then we take the reminder which will be adjust to nothing because it's zero to zero and then we're going to have from position one that will be rt 
and then we are going to do or recursion so the recursive problem will look like something like this so the reminder will be rt and the prefix starts as nothing then the current element is a okay so that's the function that we have so that function going to yield to what so we have the length is equal to one no it's equal to two so we are going to decompose that and we're going to take the c will be r in this case the reminder will be only t so do that have the reminder t and this time the prefix is set to a so we have in here a and the current element which is r okay now this time we do the recursion we do the function again so p so t is the string and if the string length is equal to one we know how to return we're going to return the prefix plus the string okay so it will be the prefix will be r and the string will be t nice so we got the first element in the array so that will be here we'll return art we we'll concatenate it with the empty string and the so part of the result will be art for now so it will go back to the course and then go to the second element here t okay so t it will do the same so permutation what is the reminder reminder r the prefix is a and the current element is t so this will yield to to the the prefix right plus current element atr that's the second one. so that's the second result so it will go, you only have one element, so it doesn't have any more. Here we go to the two of them. So now let's go to the second element in this one. So this is going to yield to what? So we have P. So the reminder will be AT. And the new prefix will be be one so look again so the prefix zero so it will be only the current element which is r okay then again we do the recursion because we have more than two elements so now we are here in the last one so what do we have here so we have the reminder is a r the current element is t no prefix now to the composite and the reminder is r the prefix is t and the current element is a so we have p the current element the reminder is a the prefix is t and the current element is r so the last one is tra so there you have it we have so this will be the resulting um, element so you can see we have three 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 letters we will have three by two and one which will it's gonna be six so we have one more letter it will be four which will be equal to um four uh, four by three permutation which is 
two by six we're going, it's going to be 24 so on so as you can see this will grow faster and faster this is 120 and then so whichever algorithm you have that is factorial it's going, it's going to grow very very fast more than exponential so there you have it factorial